Now, in our own way, we've heard a message. You heard a message that today there was going to be mass. And you hopefully wanted to come, and you're here as a special event. And there's a special place here. Now, we don't have a great big basilica, but we do have an altar on which we're going to celebrate Mass. This isn't just any ordinary table. In fact, in some of the prayers of the church, they refer to Christ as the altar of God. And that's what we're doing here today. And so two weeks before Christmas, we have this wonderful feast day that reminds us not only did something special happen 2,000 years ago, but something happened very special 500 years ago. And both of those were about God's love for us. At the beginning of Mass, I said it no, it, it, no matter who we are. It doesn't matter where we are. God's love is for every one of us. Everyone who's here, everyone who's in any place. Because God hasn't chosen the good and the bad. No, no. God made every one of us in his image. You know, there's a nice line I like to think about when I'm trying to pray. Who we are is God's gift to us. Who we become is going to be our gift to God. Every one of us. For example, every one of us, beginning today, myself <laughs> included, we're on a journey. On the one hand, we're told how much God loves us. He died for us. And then we also have to think about what am I going to do in gratitude? How am I going to show God that I appreciate what he's done? Who am I going to become? Every one of us has to face that question. Whether we're a man or a woman, whether or not we're the poorest person in the world or the richest, whether or not we're a priest or a painter or an accountant, <coughs> every one of us Bless you. has to answer that question in our own lives. Who am I going to become? And so, we're here today to pray. First of all, to thank God for the love he has given us. Secondly, to ask for his help. That every one of us, taking God's love into our hearts, we become the best that we can be. It's not easy. It's not easy for me, and it's not easy for you. But with God's help, it can happen. The deacon read that beautiful gospel, didn't he? The angel came to Gabriel. The angel Gabriel came to Mary. You know, Mary, full of grace. And then at the very end, he said, with God, all things are possible. Whatever is in our past life is past. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. And God's inviting us to take a step forward. To take a step forward with, in our hearts, appreciation for what he's done. When we really appreciate what he has done, then we, in turn, want to do something special in return. So two weeks from yesterday, we celebrate Christmas. What a beautiful day. No matter where we are, it's a sign of God's love for us. And we can never lose sight of that. Certainly there are other places we would rather be. But, but God is with us here. 
there's another line that I like to reflect on. Whether called upon or not called upon, God is always present. The only time that God is absent is when you and I turn our back on him. God is never absent. We're absent. God is with us. And that's the story of Christmas, really. When you cut through the whole thing, God became a person like us so that we might be with him forever. And so I'd like to make a bargain with you. I will remember you every day between now and Christmas in my prayers. And in your charity, I ask you to remember me in your prayers. That all of us may make good decisions as to who we are and what we're going to give back to God. So let us make that commitment, me to you and you to me, and let's work together in being the very best that we can. He died for us because he wants us to be with him. We have to do our part. May God bless you all.